God, I love it when another local privilege escalation comes out that pretty much affects every Linux distro out there. This CVE came out last year. It was responsibly disclosed and the POC and update just got released today. It pretty much affects every major Linux distro and the vulnerability itself is in PK exec. So I found this POC on GitHub which seems to work pretty well and it pretty much works straight out of the box. So you can use this for any CTF or hack the box challenge. I wouldn't recommend doing this every single time because then you wouldn't learn the actual intended path of privilege escalation, but it's definitely a good one to keep in your back pocket. So all you need to do is run make and then exploit and we're root. So really, really simple exploit. I'm actually going to jump on try hack me now and test if this is actually that easy to exploit. So we're logged into the simple CTF room now as the user account. And if the box has make and GCC installed, it's pretty easy to run almost exactly as how you would do on the Kali machine I showed earlier. So just transfer the files onto the machine. Make and run the exploit. And then you get a root shell. And if you're on a box without GCC or make installed, such as this inclusion room on Try Hack Me, you can always upload the binaries onto the box directly and it should work. Just make the exploit executable and then you should get a root shell. So this does remind me a bit about the pseudo edit exploit that came out last year, pretty much impacting every Linux distro as well. But that one wasn't as easy to run as this POC where the pseudo edit one, it would complain sometimes when you had older libraries, the exploit just didn't work properly. The patch for this is out now, so you can update PK exec to mitigate this. The other option is as a temporary workaround, you can remove the sticky bit off of PK exec and that will stop the exploit from working. And if we try to run the exploit again, it no longer works because the set UID is removed from that binary. So it's a pretty cool one to have in your back pocket. I'll leave links to this write up and the GitHub repo in the description below.